at the beach, a day at the seaside. Families with buckets and spades and dogs and children, deck chairs and blankets. As they pack up and leave, they leave their imprint on the beach. The dips and the troughs, the footprints, the marks in the sand where the children have been digging. A fun family day or maybe a day of discord, maybe Lost car keys, children with sunburn, sand in the sandwiches. And they go home and the beach remains marked, the memories of a day out. And then the sea comes in, washes over the dips and the troughs, washes over the footprints and the marks of the family day. The sea restores the sand. The waves lapping over restores the sand to its complete beauty. Another flat beach for another day, a new day. In the wave of prayer last year, one of the things that came uh, to some people when they were praying was how we should minister to one another from our place of vulnerability, not a place of power. The vulnerability of letting people know that we have dips and troughs and mess and muddle in our lives. And Jesus is the one who wants to come and wash over those, like the gentle waves washing over the beach. Jesus washing over our lives and enabling us to have a new start and a fresh day. And so as we come again to our wave of prayer, I wonder what may God be saying to you about your life, your church and community, about what he would like to wash away, renew and refresh and begin a new thing. What might he be saying that could be drawn on the new fresh sand of your life or church or community? Waves can crash over a pier, waves can cause much damage, waves can drag people under, waves can rise you up on the surf, but the gentle lapping waves can also be saying, this is the way, walk in it, walk in it with me, says the Lord. <laughs>